Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Cryoxin Ultrasonic Pest Repeller. It's a plug-in electronic portable pet safe 5-in-1 electromagnetic waves ultrasonic control re repeller for mice, rats, mosquitoes, and spiders and rodents. It's meant for the indoors to plug in. You can see it has a 120 volt plug on the back of it and has a built-in night light with a separate switch you can control that and on the side here you can see it has two forms of ultrasonic waves a variable and fixed and that's nice that they give you a choice and the ultrasonic waves are what are coming off this what's called the Pizio crystal it's a, it's a special speaker that works for higher frequencies above 40 kilohertz uh, we can't hear this because we can only hear up to about 18 kilohertz. Uh, we're going to plug this in and show what lights up on it, what it uh, looks like. This also combines the not only sound, but also there is an electromagnetic field that this produces that should go on your wiring and produce an electromagnetic field that will drive rodents and bugs out of your home. Now this is total protection. It will protect your home, your warehouse, your office, any other property uh, where you have insects or pests, even rats and bats. Uh, this is a large capacity, very high powerful uh, repeller with, as I mentioned, two, two settings for the ultrasonics. You can see which one works more effective. This works from about 600 to 800 square feet. So you might want to put a couple of these in your house and experiment with them. It's easy to use. You just plug it in and, and go. What's nice about these, and they're 100% safe for people and home animals. Now, one thing you've got to uh, understand about these types of devices is that you've got to give them time to work. I have this unit. I've had one in my uh, kitchen. And it took about, well, maybe about a month, a little less than a month, if I notice a difference in the number of spiders. And I have one also in uh, my garage. I was getting a lot of field mice. And my son has one also in his garage. And, you know, you don't think he's doing anything, but then like three weeks, a month later, you notice that they're gone. And think about it. If you had uh, somebody in your house blasting annoying sound because we can't hear this but this is the most annoying sound it's it's a wave of sound that's high frequency either fixed or variable and it eventually affects their nervous system because their whole auditory system and nervous system is controlled in a lot of ways by what they hear and the electromagnetic field this produces will go through the walls and affect the nervous system also. So they're more sensitive to electromagnetic fields than we are. They're very tiny, and these electromagnetic fields will affect them as well as the sound. So these things do work. You just got to give them time, and I've used this brand, and it really does work. So let's measure the power of this so you know how little energy it takes, and let's show you what it looks like when it's plugged in. So here I have it plugged into a kilowatt meter and I have it on the watt setting and you can see it's only drawing 1.2 watts. So this is going to cost you nothing to run this thing, literally pennies a year. So that shows you how efficient these are. Because it doesn't take much power when you go to the higher frequencies of ultrasonics and this magnetics, it doesn't take a lot of power. The power is on your low frequencies like your base and your subwoofers in your house. Those extract a lot of power from the wall. But higher frequencies, very, very short wavelengths, takes very, very low energy. And that's proof of it. So that's what it looks like plugged in. And you're going to put it on any of your wall outlets. And I have the night light turned on. And you can see right there that there is a night light. And it's not very bright. It's just a little light to help you. So you can see if you're walking at night. And then you can see it's got these, the LED right there. And that is... Uh, pulsing and showing green and red is showing that it's changing the magnetics to ultrasonics or a combination of both 
that's kind of like your little status indicator on there. And again, you could turn this night light off with that little side switch right there, and then the night light is off. And you could also switch the different types of sound. Now I want to show you, when you unplug this, if you listen, did you hear that little pulse? Listen again. That's the power down circuitry scaling down and the capacitors are discharging and then you can hear a little bit of the high end, the low end of the high end of the frequency. Let's do that again. So you know it's producing a very powerful high frequency sound. That little sound right there is already irritating me. So that just gives you an idea that what, what, the, what the insects and rodents are hearing. They're hearing the full spectrum of that as it's varying and they're hearing it really clearly and very loud. I just want to show you something else. So I'm going to take the ultrasonic driver right here, which we really can't hear from quiet. And I'm going to put it right up to the microphone of the camera. And with every speaker or driver in, 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 that's ever constructed, it, uh, it works on the sound principle that there are harmonics. The harmonics work in the forward direction and the backward direction. So even though we can't hear this, there are some harmonics that are on the lower end of the spectrum. So to prove that this is producing something, I want to put this right by the microphone of the camera and take a listen. So I don't know if the camera picked it up, but those are those ultrasonic waves. Those are the harmonics on the low end. So the high end we can't hear because we can't hear the fundamental one on there. But that's just proof that this is producing a very high power pulse, high frequency sound that will, uh, will annoy the rodents and the insects and keep them out of your house. So I'm gonna show you a little experiment I've got here. I have the unit turned off and I have a electromagnetic meter that measures electromagnetic energy from 30 hertz to 300 hertz and I'm going to turn the unit on right now and you can see the milligauss going up I mean look at that so it's producing a magnetic wave and the magnetic wave is varying so see it drop down and what it's going to do is going to turn it on and off and it's going to drive the insects crazy. So what's my overall opinion about the Cryoxin Ultrasonic Pest Repeller Plug-in Electronic Portable Pet Safe 5 in 1 Electromagnetic Waves Ultrasonic Control Repellent for Mice, Rats, Mosquitoes, Spiders, Rodents and Insects Indoor Use. I think it's a cool product. Give it the right time for it to work and you really like the way it performs and the night light's a nice feature and again you can change the setting of the wave see what works better for your particular rodent or insect infestation i like this product and i'm going to give it a full five star rating on my channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads and if you like this review please hit the like button i hope the information i presented helped you with your buying decisions Thanks for watching.